programs. Welcome back to Arc New Reviews. So, today's video is going to be on a pretty simple, straightforward figure, but there's actually some kind of interesting history behind it. At least in my opinion and what little I'm able to convey. But uh, that figure is actually Machine Wars Megatron. So, this is the only other Machine Wars figure I have. And um, this thing is very weird. This is one of the older uh, F-22 molds that the uh, Transformers did. This was a cancelled mold from all the way back in G2, actually, that they then brought back. I'm aware, I want to say it was Skystalker or something. One of the Predators back in the day was a big yellow F-22 so you know I know this isn't the first but it's one of them as well as you know again technically it dates back earlier than its actual release but um yeah what's weird about this figure is actually its colors so this one is Megatron and as you can see it's you know blue fading into white however as you can see up here, if you had the figure, the stat card on, you know, the figures, I don't actually know if this thing came on a card or if it was in a box. Um, yeah, big shock, I got this thing late. I never even knew Machine Wars existed when I was a kid. But uh, the card art shows him being great and looking completely different. Well, it turns out there is a toy that came out the exact same time that has those colors. And that is Machine Wars Megaplex. So, apparently, somehow, when they got to, you know, actually packaging the figures, you know, to actually send them to the stores, the Megatrons ended up in the Megaplex boxes and vice versa. Because the Megaplex box art shows the blue jet. So, it's all really weird. I guess technically this is Megaplex, not Megatron. But, I, I mean, it's still technically Megatron, because this is the one that was on the Megatron card. It's, it's really weird. But, um, that aside, as you can see, it is a... Very messy underside F-22. Uh, worse than even some movie star screams. Insanely long landing gear there. Uh, go ahead and fold those up. Little landing gear fold up as well. Uh, the, all, all the limbs are just hanging out on the bottom. And uh, it, the thing I've never understood about most Machine Wars figures is that there is no Decepticon insignia. He just has a triangle and tiny piece of chessboard. So, it's all really weird, but it's kind of a neat little jet. I do like the faded, you know, airbrush paint job they gave him to, you know, get the white on the back. As well as, the way it transforms is actually kind of neat. Yes, nothing on the bottom is pegging in, but this is a true one-step changer. A lot of figures say that they're one step, but it still takes several. This one, it truly is one step, and you've got him in robot mode. And the, the robot mode is definitely quite a bit better than the jet mode. Uh, yeah, he still has, you know, 80% of the jet still on his back, but the robot mode does manage to look really really good as my hands are apparently covered in black fuzz tonight but you know very Megatron head sculpt even if this is technically the wrong toy they both had the exact same head sculpt um pretty good posability actually um the head is on a limited ball joint but you do get some range of motion a little bit of back and forth a little side to side it's not much, but it's something. My hands are magnetic tonight, apparently. Sorry. Um, ball joint in the shoulder so his arm can rotate, go in and out. Ball joint at the elbow. So, again, you know, 
rotation, in and out, all the fun stuff. Ball joint at the hips, he can kick forward, can't really kick back because of having all the jet back there. He can do the splits though. And then, hey, big shock, a ball joint for his knee. So you get a rotation there as well as a little bit past 90 degrees. So as tiny as he is, he is actually rather poseable. And then he even has, uh, he, he comes with a weapon and the storage on it is kind of neat actually. So the weapon actually pegs in in two halves in the back of his legs. Now, they can be a little tricky to get it out. I might not even have these halves in here correctly. Um, this is just how I found I could get them to fit. There we go. But you can go ahead, pop those out. See if I can actually get him to stand. Also, uh, uh, just for sake of saying something... On camera, he's appearing like a very vibrant, almost robin egg blue. Real life, he's actually sort of a sandy blue. I'm going to see if I can get that color corrected. Um, I'm still new to a lot of this stuff. Sorry, but you know, I'll, I'll try to make him look correct. But either way, you get two halves to the weapon. As you can see, um, you get quite a few stress marks on the, uh, the barrel of his gun here from doing this so I do plan on putting it together and just leaving it from now on that's always the the fun risk of making videos on these old figures is you have to you got something that's all stressed out like that but you still have to do it one more time to try and show it off but yeah overall um, it, it's a pretty neat looking little weapon actually it's a definitely kind of different I Though, funny enough, I can almost see Shockwave turning into this. So, that that's... A, th th there's my new head cannon. This is actually, you know, Machine Wars Shockwave. I don't think there was one, so... Boom, there it is. He, he still had a laser mode. Awesome, cool. <laughs> but, go ahead. Pop it in Megatron's hand, which also has a few stress marks from over the years. But, you know, overall, um... Yeah, this is a really, really neat figure. Um, you know, I I like the silver, the silver eyes. It is basically unpainted in robot mode, except for you know set eyes. But it works. It's not gonna get scratched up and look bad. And for its size and its age and everything, it is very, very poseable. So that's all really neat. And, you know, again, it's a true one-step changer. You know, I can straighten his arms and legs back out here. Just put his arms down to his side like that. And, you know, if I can get stuff lined up, he literally just go, go, goes back. That's it. So, something actually being a one-step changer is... It's kind of neat, and you know, overall, it's a fun little figure. So, you know, it's definitely one of those that's in the in the camp of if you find it somewhere for a decent price, yeah, you might pick it up. It's pretty fun. My camera is losing its mind with these colors right now. That's gonna be really fun to try to fix. But um, anyway, yeah, um. Fun little figure. Check it out if you get a chance. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.